Now, in Russia, a former TV journalist has been barred from challenging President Putin in the country's upcoming presidential elections. Our reporter, Naomi Choi-Smith, is in the newsroom and has more. Well, it was a short-lived presidential bid for former TV journalist turned politician Yekaterina Dunsova, who threw her hat in the ring just three days ago. She's one of 29 contenders who have filed to run for president in Russia so far. The candidates are then expected to gather thousands of signatures from supporters before they qualify to have their name on the ballot. Now Dunsova will no longer get that chance after the Russian Electoral Commission banned her from running, saying she had, quote, mistakes on her application, and telling Dunsova on Saturday, quote, you are a young woman and you have everything ahead of you. Now, Dunsova had planned to run on a campaign of ending the war in Ukraine and freeing Russian political prisoners. Those include Kremlin critic, who is serving consecutive prison sentences, Alexei Navalny. Well, when asked about concerns for her own security and fears for her safety in running for president, Dunsova did admit she did have some fears and concerns, saying, quote, any sane person taking the step would be afraid, but fear must not win. She also said that she believed Russians were looking for an alternative to President Putin at the ballot box. Take a listen. Many people write to me, you gave us hope. If you manage to get registered, we will definitely vote for you. They do not see any alternative and also consider boycotting the elections. Well, Dunsova's disqualification leaves no notable opposition candidate to challenge Putin in the presidential elections in March. Now, President Putin, for his part, is seeking a sixth term in office. He's been in power either as president or prime minister since 1999. And the upcoming elections will mark the first presidential ballot since Russia launched its war in Ukraine nearly two years ago. Naomi Choi-Smith there.